Is that Amber's? Nope. No. It's Megan's. Megan's. Oh, okay. I've never seen that. So me, Chelsea, and Leah went together and we got these little pink hearts on our wrist in California, I think in 2011 or 12. And then later on, Janelle came. And she went on her own to get one that also matches ours. But Chelsea, Leah, and I went together. Chelsea. Why is that? Definitely Chelsea. Chelsea has little baby tattoos. And I feel like that was a tattoo that she tweeted that her dad was going to be mad about. You know what? I've gotten so many bad tattoos over the years. I probably, uh, I don't know. I would definitely think all of them out. Definitely YOLO was one. Cause I was like, this definitely applies to my life. Like I want to get all these quotes tattooed on my body. And then I'm like, this is probably not a good idea. <laughs> this is Amber's tattoo. Definitely that looks like Leah. And I remember that this tattoo went viral. So that's definitely Amber. I think it did not go viral for good reasons. <laughs> I would say probably this whole sleeve. <laughs> this whole sleeve. Maybe like from here, I mean, it's not too bad, but from here down, it's like this was should have been a compass and I kind of wanted an eyeball, but like you would never know this is an eyeball. So I definitely, and I'm not even sure what this actually is. I was wanting tattoos, I wanted sleeves, I wanted to be just inked. And so I was just working with this tattoo artist and was like, do whatever you want. My story isn't over yet. I'm gonna guess that that is Caitlin. Yes. I'm right? Okay. So I have this Pride Over Pity, which is my first book that I wrote. However, I don't like the placement of it. So I started to remove it. And then I have, on one of my ribs, I have a quote with my sister. And it says something about distance, never apart and heart, something like that. <laughs> I love my sister. Um, and then I have a French saying on my left foot that um, I'm actually really embarrassed about because I got it when I was 17 or 18 and I don't speak French, I'm not French. Um, I just wanted a tattoo. Macy, that's Macy's sleeve. I remember her having a black black and gray up at the top of the shoulder and I remember her getting the um, the hot air balloon right here. So that, and then things that matter. It says things that matter. I started with this one. This was done by Ron Russo at 570 Tattoos. Um, like see no evil type thing. And um, then this one was done by Brian DeLotus um, in California. Chinese cherry blossom, or Japanese cherry blossom, sorry. And then this was Paul Todd. It's not done. I don't think any of my tattoos are done, actually. I don't know if I've ever... I know Chelsea has one on the back of her neck. Um, my ex-best friend and I got puzzle pieces that fit together, and then we broke up, and I started lasering it off. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It was just like, it felt like a bunch of really fast rubber bands like snapping at you. It was definitely worse than getting the tattoo itself. I hate getting my back tattooed. Like I feel like it's like a, a bee that's stinging me and I just wanna like swat it away. But my ribs, they, they were pretty bad too. Janelle. I know Janelle's body, yeah. Just from seeing it, seeing her tattoos also have gone viral because they're not good. For good reasons, I would say this one. It's good work, I think. I also love this flower. I wanna finish it at some point. Truthfully, I would love to get a wolf somewhere. So I feel like I'm the leader of the pack at my house, you know? That is Leah? No. Who is that? Oh, oh, okay. Is it a T for trip? It looks like a T to me. I have one tattoo on my foot, the French one. Fucking Janelle, again, that's Janelle. Because I can see the freaking zebra print star. And what is with that ink blob? I'm confused. Janelle has the worst that there's just patchy. What is that a good word for it? Like the ink itself, it's not like a cohesive smooth coat of ink. It's like patchy and then like the line work is not good. Some lines are blown out. Some of them are just shaky. I literally, no, yeah, I would ruin someone's tattoo for sure. Like I give credit to people that can tattoo because I could never. Turn your wounds into wisdom. I have no idea whose tattoo that is. Don't tell me. Okay, so there's, is it Amber's? Caitlin? 
Who is it? Oh. I mean, that's cute. It's a cute tattoo. <laughs> it's a cute tattoo. Macy. That's Macy, definitely Macy. It says book out across the back, which is her last name. I would say at least 18. I got my first tattoo at 18, so I feel like that's probably best for my kids to wait. I ask my kids all the time if they want tattoos and none of them want to have tattoos. It's like second nature to them, but I had one of my little cousins came up to me and like went like this to my skin and like didn't understand. <laughs> well, my kids have been exposed to tattoos, so it doesn't really bother them. This is either Caitlyn, well, I'm gonna guess Caitlyn's because their first daughter is Carly. I have Isaac and Lincoln's name right here. I still don't have my third sons yet, but we're working on it. We'll get it there. It was pretty bad to sit there like, oh, is it done yet? This was his free hand too. Um, Mike at Aggression Tattoo, he, he killed it. It looks to me like maybe fireworks or throwing paint. Maybe that's a person, I'm not sure. Got it, okay. You know what, it's, it's a learning process. Like you start getting tattoos and you don't, you think it's great and then over time you start to know more about tattoos and you watch the tattoo shows and you look at, ma you look at magazines and you're like, oh wow, like you can recognize good work from poor work. This one is, this one is a girl from 16 and pregnant and I think her name is Alex. Okay, see, look how good I am. I would love for someone to help me cover this because I don't know actually what is salvageable at this point. Like, can it be covered or not? Um, I would love to get a wolf tattoo at some point and then finish this arm because I got some blank space. So yeah. So right now I'm working on my hairline, potheadhaircare.com. You can find it there or on Instagram at Kale Lowry or at Pothead Hair Care.